Hello everyone, happy Saturday. You know what Saturdays means. I put stuff in my coffee and no underwear. So, just a little bit of chit chat and then I have a couple other things I wanna to touch on. Um, some fun stuff and then something a little serious. So, just to check in, I just went for a walk. About 40 minutes worth, I would say. Um, woke up in a good mood, had coffee with Mark. Um, again, with the creamer, two cups almond milk, it was a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk you mix with it, and then teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to try it with chai tea bags, I think that I have, and put it in there. I think it'll make it creamy. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, and the rest of the day today, I think is gonna be probably pretty chill. I'm gonna work on this video. And then I think it's gonna be like a nappy afternoon with Bandit, unless I'm feeling inspired. So we'll see. I don't have anything to cook, cause I cooked yesterday, so. On that note, I did want to bring you a little bit of a surprise. Mark wanted to check in from the restaurant because he's been working the last two days. And he wanted to share with you another one of Mark's quick tips. And this quick tip is for the Italian herb seasoning that he uses. It was through his family. Um, his grandmother had a recipe for it. And then they have recipes that they use at the restaurant. So he just wanted to show off a bit and make sure he said hello to everybody. So I'm going to insert that here. So I'm going to come around and then you will see him. Hi guys, Mark here, coming to you all the way from my restaurant with your quick tip of the day. Today I'm going to show you how to make IHS. Now what is IHS you say? IHS just stands for Italian Herbs and Seasonings. Like a, a chef's seasoning blend if you will. You know, like Paula Deen, her chef's seasoning is salt, pepper, and garlic. Well this is IHS and this is mine. I can't remember a time that a jar of this was not in my grandmother's refrigerator growing up and I've used it ever since and many years later when I got my job here at the restaurant we use a version of it too although we call it green stuff but anyway this is IHS I'm going to show you how to incorporate this into sauces soups whatever but um just real quickly for today what you need is fresh parsley Italian flat leaf fresh basil and fresh garlic now there's no exact proportion to this so if you're person like me who needs to have exact measurements, start off with a quarter cup of each, chopped, okay? So that would be about a handful of basil, handful of parsley, and about, I'm going to say about 10 to 12 garlic cloves. And what you're going to do is chop them all up, either in a food processor, or if you're like me at home, we have a dedicated coffee mill for our savory things, like herbs or, or nuts or things like that. And then we have another coffee mill for our coffee beans. That works just as well. Or you can use one of those plunger things with the glass jar, you know? Anyway, if you do it by hand, you just want to have a consistency of this. So it looks like this, all fresh and yummy and it smells delicious. To this, uh, this you're gonna take and place in a glass jar with a lid, put one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in it and give it a stir, pop it in the fridge and keep it there. Um, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is in our next cooking video, I'm going to show you how to utilize this into a delicious dinner. But before that, why don't you try taking a tablespoon of it and stirring it into your soup? It just raises it to the next level. Or get some crusty bread, spread some butter on it, take a tablespoon of this, spread that over top of it and bake it, and you have some delicious garlic bread. Anyway. That is your quick tip for today. It's called IHS, and we'll see you next time. Thanks! So, I thought that was actually pretty cool. In fact, I have some with me. I hope putting that in front of the camera didn't just blur me out. So, actually, going and elaborating on the tips that Mark gave, because he's a chef, I'm a home cook. Um, not a bad one, but just a home cook. So, what I do with this stuff when we have it in the fridge is I'll take a can of soup, like Progresso, like Minestrone, something with a tomato base usually, and take a scant tablespoon of this and get the soup up to a boil, stir it in, and then let it simmer to get a little tiny bit of the raw garlic taste off, unless you like it, and it dolls it up. Or jarred spaghetti sauce. It's good for that too. Um, sauteed just a little bit in a pan and plain old pasta goes in there. That's a good... Um, day before payday meal <laughs> for me because um, I always have pasta in the house because I get it cheap. Mark actually comments for all the stuff that we have um, for his crafting and collectibles. I hoard pasta because I think you never know when the money's going to run out. Have pasta and beans in the house. 
So this was a great, this is a great tip. I definitely recommend trying this out. I like when we have it in the house. So that's that. Now onto something a little more serious. Um, YouTube uh, friends of mine, Cynthia and Thomas Beaumont, they have a channel. That's the name of the channel. Um, they got some bad news. Um, I've been following them for, I'm going to say three years, maybe four. And they're nice folks. They're decent folks. If you haven't checked out their channel, you can. Um, they got about 10,000 subscribers or so, and they clutched and pawed at every single one. Um, their channel is small, but it actually doubled, I think, in the last year. At any rate, um, watch any bit of their channel and you'll get the dynamic they kind of have. Well, he was just diagnosed with cancer. And they live in New Jersey, and they get around by bus, um, you know, which is not too bad in New Jersey, but he's a little bit older, he's in his 70s, and she has some physical limitations of stuff she can and can't do. So at the time now that he's ill, and he's a little bit older, and she's not as mobile, um, it's, it's going to be a hard time, I think, for both of them. So to anyone who may be willing to extend... Um, prayers if you pray, well wishes if you wish well, um, thoughts, you know, anything like that to maybe be sent their direction. I, let's have a little real talk. Okay, I know they're not everybody's cup of tea. I'm going to mention them in the title, so it'll probably draw some people over. I know people have concerns about the way that they interact with each other, um, about the way, uh, particularly she interacts with him, but... I'm going to put that aside because I think when a person is ill and they have very small in the terms of natural supports from what they describe, they put almost all their life on YouTube. So I'm trying not to go on any assumptions of what's not on camera, but from what they shared, it's pretty much them and with minimal support and just the two of them. And, you know, it's not like I can drop by and, and hand them a lasagna and say, Hey, take a night off cooking. Um, Pretty much sending thoughts and prayers seems like all you can do. And differences aside, you know, you kind of circle the wagons. And, you know, how can you care about somebody that, you know, you don't like? <laughs> uh, that, that's a valid question. I did that yesterday with our girl Chantal, who hopefully went to Psych Emerge like she said she was going to. Would I be surprised if she didn't? No. Um, but I was an addict and I have a mental illness. During the course of that, you burn bridges with people that you still care about, but they don't necessarily like you. Um, and for whatever reason, you might not like each other, but it's like one of those push comes to shove. If the person needs, needs something, reach, you know, they could reach out to you. You le try to leave that door open for them and you don't wish them any harm and you wish good things for them um, in that sort of way. So if anybody you know, has it in their, in their self to put out some, some good vibes their direction. They could really use it. You know, different, like I said, differences aside, um, he'll need her help. He wants, you know, they're a married couple. They squawk and, and bicker and everything, but they, and they might look like an odd couple, but that, and I, I relate to that because Mark and I are kind of an odd couple. You know, I, I see a little bit, it's weird. I always tr see parts of myself in people who are wildly different looking, you know, on the surface from, from me, but you know, I see a little bit of them. I see a little bit of me. So I, I feel for them. And, um, it's hard when you feel like it's you against the world. And I think she's described that that's how she feels sometimes. And, and he's such a gentle soul. And I hope, you know, and if, and if he's feeling good today and they go to New York, go to New York, you know, it, it, there might be a time soon where he can't do that. Um, and if she's dragging him, but he's a willing victim, he's willing, you know, if he wants to spend time with her, go spend time with her. You know, she needs him as much as he needs her probably. So, so that's the serious part of the video. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to finish my coffee with creamer in it. Um, maybe play with some of the in how or the, uh, Italian herbs and seasonings. I don't know. Maybe I'll find something to put it in today. And otherwise, just chill out with Mr. Bandit, my Saturday night date. So thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. Um, give a thumbs up. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark, or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. Um, and I believe that's it. We'll catch up with you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.